Hey, my name is Jared, and in this video, I'm going to show you three things that you can do today to help bring in more customers to your business. Most likely, you're sitting there asking yourself, why would I be doing this, and what's in it for me? The answer is, oftentimes, in the world of the internet, most local business owners are too busy running their business to learn how the internet can actually benefit them and their company. Sometimes the only hesitation they have to hiring someone is they don't know who is an expert and who isn't. So I have found that by giving people an easy free attack plan of actual things that they can do to impact their business for free has resulted in some of those local business owners still raising their hands and saying, I like you, Jared, please do this for me. So if by the end of this video you've liked what you've heard and you can see that I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve that can help you with your business, shoot me a message back and we can chat. Or if at the end of this video you simply want to take this free attack plan I gave you to do yourself, that works for me too. So now let me show you three things that will set your company above your competition and not waste any more of your time or mine. Hey Omar, here we are on your website. So what we want to do is just kind of look at how much content you have, how many keywords we're getting found for, what are you naming your photos, you know, just the basic SEO stuff, trying to give you some tips and tricks on how to outrank your competition. All right, so let's just go ahead and save this image as so home wedding. So it looks like um, you named it where it goes, right? Or somebody named it where it goes in the website. I do love your website, by the way, the way you have this laid out um, and interactive like this. I do like that a lot. The issue is, is that when we're trying to get something ranked in Google, that we really want to try and build out a lot of content. So we really are trying to build out, um, you know, 1500 words of content, you know, a thousand as a bare minimum, but we really want to have content on here because that's how people are finding you. People are typing content, you know, words into the search bar of Google, and that's how we're going to get found is by having words on our website. So I understand with photographers, sometimes that can be a touchy subject, um, you know, but it is important to realize that having a beautiful website is only as good as the people who actually see it. So it's important to get found, and it's also important to keep it aesthetic. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the backside of your website um, and see what kind of keywords you're getting found for. Um, as you are right now. All right, so as you can see in the keywords here, we are struggling to get found um, for keywords, again, because we don't have much content. So it is very important to have content on the website so that we can get found for these keywords. So you are getting found for your name here. Otherwise, these kind of look like just some random, um, you know, pieces of things around the website. Nothing, nothing intentional, just something um, that's on the website as is. All right, so as you can see here, this is the overview. This is a tool called AREF. So this is the same tool we were just looking at keywords with. But this is the backlink profile. So as we're looking at um, outranking your competitor once we get our website built out properly with keywords in it, um, once we get those found, how do we outrank the competition? That's going to be these right here. So we need to reach out to more websites. Right here is a website. These are referring domains. So we need to reach out to more websites and we need to have them host some sort of content. Sometimes that costs money. Sometimes it's a you know, a trade. Sometimes they do it for free. Um, but we do get what we pay for and we do want high quality websites. So it is important to really sift through the garbage and really um, only target, you know, the cream of the crop, so to speak, when it comes to, you know, referring or uh, associating with other websites. And as you can see, you're getting found for 19 keywords and that's only bringing you one traffic per month. You know, that could be me sitting on the website. That could be you. It could be anybody who actually, you know, goes to the website for whatever reason. But that's still um, not what we want to see. We want to see more traffic. We really want to be driving business into the door and keeping the schedule full. Once the schedule is full, what happens next? Prices go up, right? All right, so what we went ahead and did is we typed in Virginia wedding photographer. What we're doing is we're looking for a competitor to see where the competition is currently at. We're looking to see where their keywords they are that they're getting uh, found for, and then we're looking to see what kind of traffic they're bringing in with those keywords if uh, if not, just what traffic is available to us. So right away, you can see there's no ads up at the top here in the map pack. This right here is um, very important when people are searching on the mobile, uh, other things like that as they drive around town. <clears throat> and so the way that we get ranked here is going to be with your name, your address, and your phone number in as many places as far as directories and around the Internet are concerned. Um, you can see that the address is not always listed so right here there's no address so just because the address isn't showing doesn't mean it's not there it's just hidden to the public so definitely want to have your name address and phone number around the, the internet as many times as possible to help verify our information with google 
And then down here, this is the organic section. So first things first, we have to get found by, for the keyword. The keyword is what got searched in the search bar. So the way we do that is by building out uh, content with intention. We reverse engineer a list of keywords we're trying to hit, and then we make sure we put those keywords as they are needed to be in order to be found for them. So we, what we did is we, we went ahead and picked Megan Kelly's photography.com uh, and we're going to go ahead and look through there and see what her website looks like. So as you can see here, she is uh, Megan Kelsey, Virginia, Washington, D.C., destination wedding photographer. Um, so a couple of areas. Otherwise, a very clean, uh, you know, basic site. Not a whole lot going on. Um, not very long. Not a lot of content. When we're looking to get found by Google, right, there's a difference between getting found by Google, and which is going to bring people to the website, and then there's a difference between just making the site look like, you know, a, a fancy brochure. So when we're trying to get found by Google, we want to really build out the content. And on the home page alone, we're looking at about 1,500 words of content. And then as we go on to these back pages, say a portfolio, we, what we want to see here is between 500 and 700 words of content. But it's super important, especially for photographers, to go in and name all of these pictures something intentional. So right here you can see uh, they named whose wedding it is, they named where it's at, and then wedding photographer. Uh, Sarah Kevin, but going in and actually naming these with intention would look something like, you know, Virginia wedding photographer, um, you know, wedding photographer, Richmond, Virginia, or whatever, destination wedding photographer in there, all those different kinds of things. So as we're building out our photos, we're also targeting all those keywords. All right, so here we are in the overview section. This is a tool called AREFs. Uh, and what we're looking at here is this 28 is actually going to be a representation of the score. Uh, of these two numbers right here. So these are your domains and backlinks. Your domains are just other websites that you do not own that are associating with you. The way that you associate with other websites is by hosting content for them. So hosting some sort of a link, a picture, uh, you know, a citation, anything like that, that if you were to click on it, would link them back to you, right? So that's your backlinks. So it's important to associate with high level websites and to really build out a network um, so that in Google's eyes, we have some authority in the space and have you know ver been verified by third parties uh, around the internet. So right here you can see she's getting found for 306 keywords and that's driving 130 people to her website per month. So it's important to go ahead and dig through these keywords and see where that traffic comes from. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. All right, so here are the keywords of MeganKelseyPhotography.com and what we were looking for here is we're looking to see where all the traffic's coming from. So you can see here is the traffic column and this is going to be telling us how many people she's actually landing per month from these from these words. So your wedding experience is going to be bringing her in some traffic, um, which is probably something that people are searching for as far as a um, you know a a blog or something like that. And then down here, so VA photographer is going to be a good one to target. So she's bringing in eleven off of that out of a an available ninety. And then down here, so we have an available eighty. Here's another one fifty. You know, so as we go through here, all of these are going to be adding up. People just say things different ways um, and things like that. So down here is a big hitter. So photographers in Virginia, um, you know, so and then right here we can see exactly where she's ranking to pull in that traffic. Right. So a lot of information here. But what we're looking for is we're looking to really focus our intention when we're trying to build out our content and name the photos in the website. All right, Omar, that is all I've got for you here today. Uh, so again, so we went through content. We really want to see 1,500 words of content on the home page. And again, we understand that it is a delicate balance uh, with trying to keep the aesthetic artistic appeal of the website. So, But we do need to find some sort of balance there and bring in more content. Uh, that's going to get us found for more keywords. And then once we get found for those keywords, we need to be reaching out to other websites to be building out our network to be outranking the other websites for those keywords. So, all right, I hope that helped. My phone number is 402-515-7222. Give me a call and uh, we can chat about anything that you have questions about. All right. Take care, Omar.